Malicious software, also known as malware, is the software that is designed to perform some malicious attacks. When you Google types of malware, you're probably going to see a lot of terms. All of these terms are being mixed on the internet. However, some of these terms represent the actual malware types, while others describe what those malwares do. For example, Keylogger is a malicious software that keeps track of all the keys pressed on a system. And keylogging, well, it is the act of recording all keystroke. It is a type of cyber attack. Similarly, crypto hacking is a type of cyber attack where the attacker is using a PC to mine the cryptocurrency. And the malware that performs the crypto hacking, you may have guessed it, it is the crypto hacker. With that in mind, in this video, we are going to discuss about the common malware types, not the cyber attack it performs. So let's look at a list. In the simplest term, viruses try to infect the device and replicate across the system. It often does this by attaching itself to the other program and files. It needs human interaction in order to run it first, but once executed, virus can perform a wide range of malicious activities. Worms are a type of malware that can propagate automatically. Unlike viruses, worms are self-contained, which means it can spread independently once they gain the access to the network. They often use a variety of techniques for propagation which include scanning for open vulnerable ports, exploiting vulnerabilities, and even brute forcing weak passwords. Ransomware is the most infamous type of malware on the list. It locks up your important files and demands money in exchange for unlocking them. In short, this is straight up kidnapping your file and demanding for the ransom, hence the name ransomware. In the last year alone, ransomware payments exceed $1 billion, hitting highest of all time. Every malware tries to hide their presence to have a detection, but rootkits, they take it to the next level. They hide themselves in the system level processes, where the antivirus won't get to them. They do this by attaching with the system processes, or by hiding in the RAM and carrying out malicious activities using the system resources. And when system resources carry out some tasks, antivirus don't give a second eye to them. Keylogger is a type of malware that secretly records every keystroke pressed on the computer. It can include everything from username, passwords to credit card numbers. And these captured data is sent to the attacker who can use them for malicious purposes such as fraud, identity theft, etc. This is a type of malware that gathers information about the user without their consent. When installed on the system, it gathers every sensitive information from your web browsing history to the login credential and send them to the attacker. Spyware can also make modification on your firewall setting to allow the backdoors through which attacker can access your PC anytime they want. Spyware often comes bundled with a keylogger, so you can be sure you are being spied every time you use the computer. Botnet refers to the group of computers which have been infected by the malware and it can be controlled by the attacker to perform malicious tasks. A single computer on the botnet is called a bot or a zombie and these bots are controlled by using a CNC server. Botnets are infamous for DDoS attacks. Last year alone, Mirai botnet was responsible for one of the largest DDoS attacks, reaching up to 160 million requests per second. One of the most annoying malware on the list, AdWord just so adds a lot of it. Once installed on the system, it generates pop-up windows that contain the advertisement. It gets in a system when the user is trying to install some legitimate application that AdWare is bundled with. And while AdWare typically just so ads, we never know what it's truly capable of. So if you see ads popping up on their own, scan your PC and remove that AdWare. These type of malware require no malicious files and works directly within the computer memory instead of the hard drive. They often hide their code in the startup registry hypes where they are loaded into RAM during the startup and performs all the malicious activity from the memory itself. A regular antivirus may not be able to identify them since they do not leave a footprint on the hard drive. There is a lot of malware on the internet and it's easy to assume that each malware fit neatly into one category but that's not always the case. Malware may fall under multiple types because malware has no single working mechanism. It is often developed to carry out certain malicious tasks and it uses any method under the hood to get the job done. For example, a malware can be a Trojan that is running a keylogger 
while also hiding its presence by infecting both sector, thus making it a rootkit. Here a single malware fell under the category of Trojan, Keylogger and the rootkit. But still, we didn't talk about every single malware type because, well frankly, there is a lot. But most of the types just got their name from the malicious act they do. For example, if they wipe the system, that's a wiper malware. They hijack a browser, that's a browser hijacker. You get the idea. I'll make another video for these malwares and teach you all how to reverse engineer them. But for now, have a look at this infographic that summarizes all these types. Please find the link in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, subscribe, please.